For part two of my presentation, I want to talk about finding sources using Google Scholar. So I've opened a browser window and gone to scholar.google.com and now I can enter in my search terms into the search box. So I will look again for blended families and their impact on children. And so executing my search in Google Scholar, I can see a variety of sources come up. You can see the third result is a book and it's marked as such. Um, you'll get the title, some preliminary author information, a short preview of the abstract of the article. Um, as I scroll along, you can see um, that there are a variety of different kinds of sources. So here's another book. Uh, but generally, what you're finding here are articles from academic journals and then also those book sources. So since I'm on campus, um, often many of the links for the full text that appear along the right side of the screen will immediately go to the full text of the article. But sometimes when you're off campus, uh, it doesn't know, Google Scholar doesn't know, to display these fine text at CSUEB links. So if I wanted to get this article here, the second article in the list from the Journal of Consulting, I can click on this fine text at CSUEB link and what's going to happen is I should be brought to a page within the library's OneSearch, which we were using in part one of this presentation, um, that will link to where the library has full text available. So it looks like we have full text from a resource called EBSCO Psych Articles. And so if I was to click on this, then I would get to the full text of that particular article. And so here's the information about the article, and here's a link to the PDF of the full text of that article. Now going back to my OneSearch window and then clicking back to get into Google Scholar. So like I mentioned, this fine text at CSUEB is showing up because I am on campus at Cal State East Bay, but you can use um, Google Scholar's settings function by using the three bar menu icon next to where it says Google Scholar. And when I click on that three bar menu icon, then I have the option of going into the settings in Google Scholar. And then within settings, I want to click on the library links option. And then here you can search for Cal State East Bay when you're off campus. Um, and then you would select the options that come up. They're already selected here because I am on campus. And when you save these settings, and if you're logged in to Google Scholar, then it will retain your affiliation with Cal State East Bay. So every time you're looking at your results in Google Scholar, you should either see a fine text that sees you be over on the side of the screen, or if I scroll down, there may be options where I would need to um, click on the double arrow icon to expand the options that appear underneath each article and visit um, the library's website to see what we have available at East Bay full text for free. The other great thing about Google Scholar is that you can use it to uh, get you started on your citations. So when I'm looking at this information here, there's a little quotation mark that appears underneath um, each source's information. When I click on that quotation mark, what will happen is different citation styles will be available. So this is a formatted APA citation. If that's the style that you're choosing to use, there's also MLA in Chicago um, and Harvard in Vancouver, but I think those are less common. So within Google Scholar, you can play around with the search terms that you use in the search box to affect the results that you see. Make sure that you're either researching on campus to see where you can get the full text through the library for free, or again, you can use the menu um, within Google Scholar to get to the settings to go to those library links to set that up.